Good evening. My name is Kadria Ahmed, and this is Straight Talk. My guest studied philosophy at the University of Nigeria in Suka. Born 53 years ago, he's a businessman turned politician and has served as a governor of one of the southeastern states for two terms. His first term in office was characterized by litigation. He was denied the election he won, given back his mandate by the courts, impeached, and then reinstated again into office by the courts. Today, he has abandoned Abga, the party under whose flag he became governor twice to join the ruling party, the PDP. He's now the deputy director south for President Goodluck Jonathan's campaign. On Straight Talk today, I am very pleased to have with me the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi. Sir, welcome to the program. Thank you. So why should the people of the South vote for President Goodluck Jonathan? In the South, there's three regions, if you call it so. For me, the entire South should vote for President Jonathan because if you take the history of this country, and I say it and I want to be challenged, no president in this country have achieved what President Jonathan have achieved in four years or have been committed to the country the way he's committed to the country. Okay, so let's get to specifics. Let's take it, yes. Let me take issue of national conference because when you want to talk about any entity, you talk about a structure. One of the greatest problems impacting negatively in the Nigerian state is the issue of our federating units. We are a federation. That means that the federating unit needs to be on their own. At least a certain degree of autonomy. Autonomy. Determine their future and everything. That is impacting the structure as it is today, and our constitution as it is today, needs to be changed. And for that courage to be able to initiate and convoke national conference and commitment to implement the recommendation, recommendation is number one. Now, that, because that will change the entire structure of the country. The, 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 the criticism of the National Conference, obviously, is that it was a cynical ploy by the president to begin the process of campaigning for a second term. No. Because, according to his critics, he had the first year, he didn't try to do a National Conference. He had the second year, he didn't try to do a national conference. He had a third year, my, my dear, and it was only when elections my were dear, eminent my dear, that it, he hastily put no, no, my dear, it a doesn't conference matter. together. It doesn't matter when he started it, but he was courageous enough to start it. Other people were there before him. They didn't start it even if it was last week before they left office. So when he, he, had, he had the courage to do it, when he started it, it's relevant. We've had the conference, obviously. You think it's a big achievement, the fact that he called it. There have been recommendations made. There are substantial part of those recommendations that cannot be implemented without the National Assembly. And so, in many ways, there are people who see the conference as just, if you like, an academic exercise. No, it's not. It's not. Why is it no, not No, no, it's not an academic exercise. exercise. Okay. The, the National Assembly is still Nigerians. It's still people who, who have, who can say they are part, they, they are now part and parcel of the, the recommendation in the sense that when the national conference was 
called people notable meaningful Nigerians came from all parts of this country it wasn't a conf it wasn't the report of a conference of foreigners it's still a, a report of a conference of Nigerians hand, National Assembly people hand picked no, by no, the president no, it's not when true. we had an elected no, no, body no, no, it's, it's, that is no, 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 not constitutionally true. to make changes no, to it's our not true, constitution. My sister, I was, I will, let me tell you, they are not handpicked by the president. At least I know that in my state, then I was in the PDP, I was the one who nominated the people that represented Anambra State, Professor B.C. Wosu, Late Professor Dora Akunyeli and Dr. Esdifer. If you go to Anambra State today, I can tell you these three are among the best. And that is what happened in various other states. For example, as at the time that conference was called, inequity came from people like Falana and Co. There's other states that are not of PDP and governors were asked to nominate three and they came with the best okay, because so, they can so produce. So what in your view did the conference achieve? A lot. There's quite a lot on issue of the volition of powers, on issue of it, there's quite a number of areas that so, so you're state. seeing recommendations as achievements, even though they are not being implemented? No, my sister, how do you now start? You start by recommendation. We didn't have it yesterday. At least we now see a report. Every, everywhere there's been a change globally starts by recommendation. It starts like by even people sitting down and talk. The national conferences provided a platform for us to sit down as a country and talk. It's time for a quick break. Stay with us. Red, red.